Hello, my name is Beatrice and I'm the co-chair of the APR committee, Advocacy, Policy and Research in YASM. Um, when talking about gender um, within the work of YASM, first thing that comes to mind is, of course, um, our mandate. What is, what is our mission? Which is, of course, combating the root causes of um, human trafficking and uh, modern slavery at every intersectionality. When we talk about intersectionality, we refer to our um, Sunray model, which is filled, which is composed of different areas, different domains to tackle one same issue, which is um, ending um, human trafficking and modern, uh, modern slavery. One of those intersectionalities is, of course, gender. That is inevitable. We also have another ones like um, conflict climate change, um, political issues, but we definitely have to have gender in there. And from my humble personal experience, gender is, even in that Sunray model, um, cross-functional and cross-domain in itself, which means that to a certain extent, it will also influence the other inter intersectionalities. If there are human beings involved, there is gender involved, as we are all part of a social construct, social um, hierarchy, social um, structures, uh, which are based on gender roles, gender stereotypes. Um, so if we deal with human beings, this is going to be inevitable. When we talk about, because I focus here on two areas, when we talk about our advocates, our volunteers, we definitely want to focus on one, empowerment. And how do we do that? By knowing our audiences, by knowing our volunteers, and by tailoring our messaging to their needs, to the concerns, to the unique experiences and perspectives of what surrounds them, of their communities. And we definitely want to give them the tools tailored to um, their conditions, tailored to their needs. In this sense, gender helps us identify those differences. Women may have different um, perspectives to, to bring to the table, as well as men, as well as non-binary people. So we have to take that into account. Also, when we talk about um, development, human development, gender is very interesting and very useful tool. We definitely want to make them, all our volunteers, everybody that is involved with us, the youth, to realize their full potential. There are no limits that can be set, but by themselves. That is one of the missions, removing unnecessary obstacles that are, put, that are gender based. That would be one of the pilots, one of the approaches. And when we look at the other end, talking about um, root causes of human trafficking. And um, we also need a gender lens in this regard. With the gender lens, we can identify um, behavioral patterns. We can identify that women and girls are perhaps more prone or more vulnerable to specific types of trafficking, to specific ends, especially. We identify that women and girls are in many cases used for sexual exploitation and abuse, for prostitution. So um, without a gender lens, we would not be able to identify this since it helps us use sex and age disaggregated data and it helps us identify different patterns as we can also see with uh, boys and men and, um, and the whole spectrum. As I always like to remind myself, there is no bigger injustice than treating unequal situations as equal situations.